Hi, my name is Raul, and this is part two of System of Linear Equations Solving by Using the Elimination Method. And on this example, we have two equations. We have 6x minus 2y is equal to 18, and we have 6x minus, 7, uh, minus 7y is equal to 3. Now, to solve this by using the elimination method, first make sure that they are in standard form. Remember that standard form is ax plus by is equal to c. And as you can see, it is in standard form, ax, by, and c. Then you want to make sure you have this line underneath them. And what you want to do is figure out which variable cancels out, which one is easier. And from the looks of it, the y is a little bit harder to cancel out because the numbers are different. But the x is pretty easy. You have the same number, 6 and 6. The only problem is that you need to make one of them negative. Okay, so if you remember from the first video, you need to multiply one of the equations by a negative one, and that would switch the signs on all of them. So I'm going to choose the bottom equation to switch the signs. So I'm going to rewrite the top equation, 6x minus 2y is equal to 18. Okay, and now I'm going to write the bottom equation with the signs changed. So instead of it being a 6x, it's going to be a negative 6x. Instead of it being a negative 7y, it's going to be a positive 7y. And instead of it being a, a positive 3, it's going to be a negative 3. Okay, so that's, those, that's your new equation. We can cancel out the 6x. Okay, uh, 7 minus 2 is 5y. And 18 minus 3 is 15. Okay, all you have to do now is divide by 5 on both sides, and you have your y variable as 3. y is equal to 3. So now you have the first answer. Okay. So remember, now that you have the y, you need to uh, plug this in into either this equation up here or this equation up here. Okay. You plug it into the original equation. I'm going to pick the top equation, so it's going to be 6x minus 2y is equal to 18. And wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug in a 3. So it's going to be 6x minus 2 times 3 is equal to 18. 6x minus 6 is equal to 18. Now, um, I'm going to move over the minus 6 to the other side by doing the opposite. It should be plus 6 plus 6. Okay, we have 6x is equal to 18 plus 6 is 24. Okay, now to find the x, all you have to do is divide by 6, and you get x is equal to 4. So, x is 4, and y is 3. Those are the answers for this system of linear equations by using the elimination method. So, when you're going to write the coordinates, make sure you write it 4, comma, 3. That's the answer, 4, comma, 3. All right, so let's do the next example. The next example is a little bit harder because the x's and the y's are completely different. On the previous examples, one of them um, had the same number, whether it was for the x or whether it was for the y. But in this case, it's different. So you're going to use the same method that we did before where you multiply one of them by a negative 1. But, however, instead of multiplying by a negative 1, this is what you're going to do. Let's say you want to uh, let's say you want to do the x's instead of the y's, right? In order to do that, you need to make them the same. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite everything. So, it's going to be 3x plus 5y is equal to 12 and 4x minus 3y is equal to negative 13. Okay? I want to cancel out the x's. So, I need to make the x's the same. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply the top equation by a 4. 
okay and the bottom equation I'm gonna multiply it by a 3 remember these two are positive you want one of them to cancel out so you can make whichever one negative I'll make the bottom one negative okay so when you uh, when you distribute you're gonna have 12x plus now it's 4 times 5 that's 20y and then 4 times 12 that's 48 so that's your new uh, top equation now for the bottom one you're going to uh, distribute the negative 3 across to the 4x to the negative 3y and to the negative 13 so it's going to be negative 12x a negative and a negative will result in a positive it's going to be positive 9y and then a negative and a negative is going to result in a positive and 3 times 13 is equal to 39 okay so now as you can see the x's will cancel out uh, 20 and 9 is 29 y is equal to uh, 48 plus uh, plus 39 yes is equal to 87 you divide by 29 divide by 29 and y is equal to 87 divided by 29 which is equal to 3 okay so now we have y is equal to 3 that's the the first choice okay so the same thing as the other one you get the y is equal to 3 and you plug it into any of these two original equations I'll pick let's see you can pick whichever one. I'll pick the, the top one. So, let's see. 3x plus 5y is equal to 12. And wherever I see a y, I'm going to put a 3. So it's going to be 3x plus 5 times 3 is equal to 12. Make sure it comes out on the camera. So it's going to be 3x plus 15 is equal to 12. I'm going to move the 15 over to the other side. So it's going to be minus 15, minus 15. This cancels out. So, okay, we're going to have 3x is equal to, and you have 12 minus 15, you're going to have a negative 3. Okay, I see. That comes out on the camera. You divide by 3, and you're going to get x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so now we have... Uh, x is equal to negative 1 and we said that y is equal to 3 so the answer is negative 1 comma 3 that is the coordinate point in which these two systems intersect